If you love soup, art, and the zoo, there's an upcoming event that combines all three. Zoo Park benefits the Brimmer Park Zoo in Kiwani County. Brad Conan from the Zoological Society is here along with Danae Seminar, who won last year's best soup competition. Good, Good job. job. Good right. morning, guys. Good now, morning. tell us a little bit about Zoo Park. So Zoopart is a fundraiser that benefits, as you said, Brimmer Park Zoo. So the fundraiser itself will feature um, artwork, which we have some of here with us from the Kiwani schools. Um, and it's for all of Kiwani County schools. So they participate by the students make the bowls, which we brought a few of the samples along, mm -hmm. as well as do some of this different artwork that will be on display there. So the artwork will be judged. Um, there's awards all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade that will be given out on Sunday um, to the winners of the art. Um, and then the fundraiser itself, we have 23 soups this year, um, 15 come in from restaurants and 8 from home cooks. So it's like the home cooks versus the restaurants, right? Um, so we actually have two different competitions. <laughs> oh, so we have okay. one just for all the businesses. Gotcha. And the winner of that, um, Bullrath, donated a prize of Sweet. stainless steel bowls for, oh, for that nice. winner. And then the home cooks, um, we're giving away an air fryer for the winner of that. Oh, so nice. each contestant okay, gets... She's like, <laughs> she's like, I'm winning again. <laughs> each contestant gets to uh, cast a ballot for their favorite soup at the end of the day. So the deal is, though, you come in and you buy one of these bowls, right? And that's your admission? Yep. Yeah, so it's $10 to get in. Um, when you pay your $10, you get to go pick your bowl. So we have roughly 600 handcrafted bowls that were made either by students um, actually spinning the bowls themselves. Or some of them. This one's um, a heart. Yeah, like a heart. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's so sweet. <laughs> and oh, then do you keep the bowl when you're done? You do, yeah. Oh, that's so, great. So, yeah, you get, get a souvenir to go home. Nice. Really, $10 for a handcrafted bowl? You can't buy Plus that. All Plus all the soup. Plus all the soup and the fun. <laughs> All right, tell us about your soup last year that took home the prize. Okay, well, my soup last year that took home the prize was a creamy wild mushroom with white and wild rice. No. I used four different types of mushrooms. I used heavy milk, cream, two pounds of butter. Oh, yeah, now you're <laughs> talking my language. It, it, was, it was phenomenal. People were coming up to the booth, and they were saying, I don't like mushrooms, but somebody said I had to try your soup. <laughs> So what do you have this year? Because you're going a different route, right? Yeah, I'm going a different route this year. This year I am making cream cheese chicken chili. <gasps> oh, cream cheese! You're still talking my language. Yes. Here. Oh, look at this. Still nice. going with the with the cream base. Why and do you want to take part in this? The event? yummy goodness. Why is it important to you? Well, the first year my husband actually volunteered me. <laughs> he, did, he said uh, you have good soup. A lady was hanging up flyers. He says, "Go talk to my wife. She'll make soup. She loves to." Oh. And actually, at our restaurant at the Philin Station in Luxembourg. Oh, yeah. Um, I make the soups there every day. We used to get bag soups. I hate bag soups. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh nope. Gosh. <laughs> I said, no, no more bag soups. I make the soup. Homemade soups fresh every every day for our customers. I am a there soup There is something lover. in there that is, I, I can't describe it. It's really amazing. Amazing. That is so good. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> Brad, I want you to talk a little bit about how fundraisers like this are really going to help out the zoo. Yeah, so we do two fundraisers a year, um, major fundraisers. Zoo Part um, every year at the end of February, and then Zubilee um, mm -hmm. in October, which is actually at the zoo. Um, so currently at the zoo, we're looking at adding a nature center. Oh, neat. And a new pheasant exhibit. So the pheasant exhibit, um, we're targeting 20 new um, species of pheasants that will be exotic oh. from all around the world. Neat. Um, so we actually will have the plans for that at Zoopart as well, so people can kind of see where their okay. money is going. So um, last year we redid a bunch of the cages yeah. at the zoo, um, put up new fencing. Um, so this year, this year we're targeting fundraising for that pheasant exhibit. Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, actually breaking ground on it next year. So nice. it'll be the first time in quite a while that we have a new, a brand new yeah. exhibit coming to the zoo. So it's a great excited. location there in Kiwani County. Let's take a yeah. look at the details. The event is Zoop Art. It's happening this Sunday, the 24th, from 11 to 2 at the Kiwani County Fairgrounds in Luxembourg. You have to stop by to stop. Get this chili. It's so good. <laughs> and admission is only $10, and you get the soup, the bowl. You get to see all the artwork. It's wonderful. Check out more information on their website or on Facebook. Just search for Zoo Park Zoo.